What is good you guys, Tommy Fly here, welcome back to another video. Uh, today guys, we're going to be continuing our career mode on uh, Forza Motorsport 7. Um, I've done a bit of the career mode actually. Uh, I've been skipping through, vid skipping through videos, um, I've been doing some in between, uh, doing a lot of progress in between videos of this. Last time I uploaded a Forza video, a Forza Motorsport 7 video, it was I think about 2-3 to three weeks ago. And uh, I'm here again. The last uh, race, actually, the sixth and final race of this NASCAR championship in doing, and then after that we can move on to more. I think I'm on the actually the th second series because there's a split up to different series or championships, whatever you want to call it. I'm on the I think I'm on the second one because I haven't played in weeks, so I haven't really checked out. But we're on the final race here. As you can see, um, it shows how the, all the check marks of it on the right side of the screen and my progress. Uh, right now I'm at 3,390 points. I have to reach seven. I think 7,000 points. Wait for it to switch back. Yep, 7,000 to um from the Evolution Championship, and then I'll move on to the next championship. So right now we're about to continue up this race. So please subscribe and like the video uh, if you do enjoy, because I will be doing more content. Uh, some of my friends have this game, so I will be doing some multiplayer maybe in the future. But without further ado, let's get going. So this is a night race. It's gonna be cool. Well, so it's just gonna be a night race, but also we're doing this in first person, so because this is what the challenge is for this video—not really a challenge, but something I am gonna do for this video, uh, for some first person uh, camera view gameplay. So yep. Yeah. Also, just so you know, I may not be talking much during these races because you know, not really much to talk about besides you know actually doing the race, just for you guys to enjoy the gameplay. But I will be doing some stuff here and there. Overall, first person view I think is like pretty cool. It's a nice detail to the games that they added in. Pretty cool interior for a uh, NASCAR, pretty much. Or a stock car, is what it's called. On the fifth lap. Try to aim for first place. Another thing is that I'm not really used to first person. I usually play in third person view. But every now and then I'll go in first person because, you know, it just looks cool. And actually proper if you're, you know, in a real event of this. Okay, he's not beside us. I can close in. Alright, so you need to pass this over here. So we can come in first and then finish off the race on these next three laps. Here we go. Alright, so we're on the final lap now. We're about to be on the final lap, actually. Hopefully, we can at least attempt a better lap time right here. Just gonna make our steering more smoother. Trying to keep it in the inside on these turns. Alright, so our current lap time is 22. Alright, split time is 18 by 18 milliseconds. So here we go, come on. Final turn. And then I believe that's the end of the race. Hopefully we have a better lap time on this lap. Which is the final lap, and here we go. Best lap 44.477. Not bad, but I actually like want to see if I can get up on the leaderboard which would actually be cool so yeah best lap time 44.477 milliseconds so not bad got 50 series points or sorry 500 series points which is what we need to um, add up to our series points of winning the series championship for this series which is I think is the evolution series alright so here we go continuing we are done the NASCAR championship, let's say. Or a small championship of six races. So we could either do another championship 
depends if we can get another car. Uh, I've also been saving up on credits. I now have 500,000 credits. But um, we could also do a showcase event. Alright. So yeah, let's continue. And the reason why I have the Seeker um, outfit on, because like it's not really used, because you know it is only unlocked by the first championship or the first series. Just because I made it match the NASCAR I was using, so it was pretty cool. So yeah, my bad. I was, we were on the Evolution uh, Championship, which is uh, or, or series. It's the uh, third one. I said it was on the second one, but we are on the third one, and I think we are halfway, more than halfway. Yeah, more than halfway done the Evolution. So let's go through. Let's just do a bunch of um, let's say, uh, showcase events. So. Let's see. I don't. Okay, so we haven't done that. Police car bowling. Let's try that. Seems interesting. This is gonna be hard because we're gonna be in first person. Uh, let's change our driver gear, our driver outfit. Let's see. This one looks pretty cool. Uh. Yeah, let's put on that one, the gold looking. Alright, start race. Like I said, it's gonna be pretty hard because we're being first person. Hopefully, we hit all the bowling pins, though. Alright, here we go. We're gonna have to use the eBay for this because this car is hella slow. Okay, I don't want to turn yet, though, until like, we're like doing that stuff. Okay, not bad. Hopefully we got all those. Alright, let's save our speed for over here. Oh, I don't think we hit it. I hit all of them. Let's try to hit more. Actually, yeah, here we go. Okay, let's see if we can hit more from that pile. Alright, save our speed. Stay more to the middle. Okay, that was pretty bad. The trick is to get a lot of speed in order to do these e-brakes and turn sideways right. But like I said, this car is really slow, so it's going to be hard to do that. Alright, hopefully we hit it from the back of our car at least. This is getting really hard. What's our target? Okay, 200. Oh, okay, let's go for the orange ones. Alright, so our target score is 500,000. So hopefully by the time we reach the finish line, we'll get that. We're not even at 100,000, so we need to up our game score. It's going to be quite hard. Alright, come on. Alright, sideways here. Alright, there we go. We reached 100,000. Let's go from over here. Alright, hopefully that actually... Oh, we didn't barely took anything out from right there. Alright, come on. We gotta turn more sideways. Alright, hopefully that did a lot. Not bad. Alright. We can go straight over here. And then turn through these ones. Okay, we're at... We're almost there. We're about a... Three quarters. We're, we're about a quarter away, sorry. From reaching our score. Oh, we can turn here. Did we hit that? We didn't hit the first ones, which is okay. Alright, come on, come on. Oh, I think we almost hit it. We just need a few more. Are there a few more? Yep, we did it. We completed our score. Let's go. And we're at the beginning of the finish line. Let's go. So that was pretty close, actually. We hit the uh, hitter score on the thing the before the final turn. Wow, that was pretty fun. The thing was our car was slow, so it's pretty difficult too. Alright, there we go. Let's continue. Hopefully that was a good amount of uh, series points to add up. Alright, so we have unlocked the 2010 Ford. 
So it's cool how like every showcase event you do, you unlock the car, but I don't think we'd be using that car for our uses. Let's try another showcase event. Let's see. We could either do this one. Marco looks pretty cool, but uh, let's go for this one. This one looks pretty cool as well. Simple. You put them all in the same car and point them to the track. Now the first one who crosses the finish line won't do it because of a better engine or tires. It'll be from raw skill. All right, so here we go. Uh, run to our next showcase. So the challenge, I don't think it's really a challenge. I need to just become first place out of everybody being in the same car. I think it was. So it's gonna be pretty cool. Good thing is we're gonna get this car at the end for free. So I'll try to focus on the track. All right, I'm first being first person. Oh, okay, that was pretty bad. That was pretty bad. Yeah, I think we had a hard hit right there. Just gotta make these corners right. So it's one out of five laps. We're right now in sixth place. Hopefully we can score a really good uh, best time lap. And uh, aim for first place as well. Then that's the goal, just aim for first place. Alright, come on. If you guys hear a buzzing sound, it's probably just the uh, vibration of my controller when I brake. Hopefully it doesn't affect the audio. The interior of this uh, Porsche looks pretty cool, actually. I like the interior of it, I like the steering wheel. It looks pretty clean. Up on the edge. It's pretty cool how also everyone is also in the same car. Which makes have like people... It's like, it's like NASCAR, you know, stock cars, where like all of the stats of the cars is the same thing. That was pretty bad. But I mean, it's pretty much the same concept, but like in different cars. Okay, that car t tried to spin me out. Alright, we need to take that place back. We're still on the first lap, so I think we're good. Especially how we started off in a good, uh, in good time of the race in the beginning. Started off in 6th place, I think it was. We didn't start off in 6th place, but in the beginning when we caught up from that first turn, we ended up in 6th, so that was a pretty good start. Alright, come on. Yeah, I'm driving pretty rusty, because it is first person, but... Alright, so we're almost on our final lap. Just gotta do these couple turns. Try to make these turns right. Here we go. Alright, so final lap. Hopefully we can make this our best lap time. Gotta concentrate on these turns. Alright, so we're making progress in this race. We have a plus one minute time difference uh, for split time. Hopefully this will be our best lap time because this is the final lap according to all four of our laps. Uh, we're just going to be these few of the turns. I think there's two more straightaways ahead and then a final sharp turn. So let's just make these straightaways. Yeah, the driver tower behind us, or the driver tower behind us, aren't that far away since we came first place, so... Gotta be cautious about that, make these turns really good. 
Alright, final straightaway. Let me have a sharp turn up ahead. Okay, let's make these turns good so we can make this uh, lap our best time. And there we go, final turn. I just want to straight away. Alright, there we go. Alright, so first place. Uh, 400 points that will add up to our series points. Hopefully that will gain us some more um, We lost a new card too. Um, pretty nice card to unlock uh, Or to uh, get for free because you know, I like these um, showcase events Because you know you get the cards for free too that you win at the end. So I'm probably be using this uh, Hopefully I'll be using this in the future uh, for more of these championships that will allow me the selection of this card But um, it's pretty cool uh, I do like it. I do like the showcase events. Pretty cool how every Dravatar has the same car. Uh, it really makes the uh, rules change on the track. So uh, let's move on to. I don't know which one we should do next. Uh, we'll do the final. We'll do one more showcase event, which is the one to the very right at the bottom. So let's go check that out. Actually, so we got a new car. There we go. Pretty nice. And we also leveled up our. Uh, levels for when we can unlock better cars for uh, better levels. So here we go Ford Bronco Hoonigan. Uh, let's try that one out. Looks pretty cool. Apply too much speed at the Hoonigan Autocross, and it'll be a wake-up call. Overdosing on raw power will plow you through the cone gates, giving you a ton of time penalties. You need precision, handling, and speed to make your way through the cones to get the best time. Think finesse, not force. Alright, so, as I can tell, we probably have to go or drive through some cones. Um, I've done this in Forza Motorsport 6, which was pretty decent. Some of them I failed in because it was pretty hard. Hopefully, it's kind of not the same thing, because I had a hard time doing that in Forza Motorsport 6. But here we go. teaches you where to look, and you will continue to actually improve, to, because, you know, in the beginning, that first time, you're going to be looking at those pylons that are almost right in front of you the tenth time you'll be smart enough to be looking at those pylons two corners all right so let's just start this up all right so here we go ford bronco what a weird name for a car actually okay so we have to go through these cones over here i wonder what happened if i hit them i don't know if you like Give you less time or it'll minus your time or something. Oh god, okay. So yeah, you have to be aware of your speed and handling, obviously, so. Um, I wonder if I should change my assist. Actually, no, it's okay. Alright, I gotta make these turns nice and smooth, because I do not know what will happen if I hit those cones, but it's probably gonna be something bad. So, I gotta be aware of my position, speed, and handling. I gotta break at the right times, too. break here this is really difficult so yeah this is like Forza Motorsport 6 a bit but I think it's just the cones are different to be honest and the rules stay the same overall this car or um yeah this car is actually fast and like with good handling uh, from how it looks it's not really fast but probably when you upgrade it's gonna be like super fast but like I said it's pretty decent from how it looks that'll be like a bit less like this just like the uh, police car or the Ford of uh, Victoria Police Cruiser that we did in the first showcase event. But um, hopefully we can aim our score, which is 4 minutes and 10 seconds. That That's going to be our, um, our time score, or the score that we have to beat, as you can see in the top right of the screen. Okay, no, I tried to switch to see in third person. That's pretty bad. I cannot see with this thing in the way. I have to switch back to first person. Okay, so it minuses 5 seconds when you hit a cone. Alright. Oh, okay, that's pretty bad. See, so yeah, I accidentally switched into third person to see the view of this car, but apparently the view of the car blocks the track, so... Let's just try to get through these cones really fast. We're at 2 minutes and 20 seconds. Try not to look up at the time because I'm trying to focus on the track, but here we go. Alright, come on. Almost there. Alright, 
almost done at the finish line. What's the time? 3 minutes and 20 seconds. So, yep, that's it. Oh no, there are more pine cones. Alright, okay. We gotta, we gotta make these pine cones. We're almost to the finish line. I think I hit one pine cone. 3 minutes and 40 seconds. Come on, we gotta do this. Oh dang, I hit another pine cone. 350, 51. We can make it. 55. Oh, come on, come on. We're so close. We hit the finish line? It's right there, it's right there. Let's go! Alright, that, I think that was an 8 second... 8 seconds early from the time we had to beat. So that's pretty close, to be honest. Um, so yeah, that was pretty good. That was a nice uh, little challenge that was uh, done for this uh, showcase event. Uh, we got a new car. But that was just pretty close, because... That was 8... We were 8 seconds, and it was like a front from the uh, time you had to beat. If we didn't beat that time, then we had to do that all over again, but pretty cool we did it uh, especially how we did in first person too um so yeah we got a new car not probably gonna be using it like the uh, first showcase uh, event card that we got for free uh, I think it was the uh, Ford uh, Victoria uh, cop cruise I think it was called either way I'm not gonna probably be using it as far from this one too but it's pretty cool to have this um, but um yeah anyways guys I think we're close to finishing the Evolution Championship. Yep, those showcase events uh, brought me up a bit more on my series points. But, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that we only need to do, I think, two more small of, the, of these championships afar from the showcase events that we all completed. Um, we, we just need to do, I think, two of these championships to complete this uh, Evolution Championship. So we could do one of those to pick from, or two of those to pick from to complete, which probably bring our series points up to finishing the evolution championship so we can move on to the domination championship but um either way uh hopefully that um we can do two uh, two more championships to complete the evolution championship and uh, move on but uh, without further ado i think that's it for this episode um we did uh those showcase events uh well completed uh we completed our challenge it's not really a challenge like i said it's just something that i was going to do for this video which was to be in first person for the whole entire video which we did do pretty well on. We completed all these um, showcase events. We completed that NASCAR race in first place, uh, which wasn't too bad. So um, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Like I said, please subscribe and like the video as we'll be doing more Forza, Forza Motorsport 7 content. Um, I still do Forza Horizon 3 content, uh, which is similar to Forza Motorsport. Um, I do car meets with my crew on that. Uh, we do a bunch of drip montages that I record. I did record, I think, two drip montages um for um for his rise in three uh, on my channel uh i did a few car meets for my channel on Forza Horizon three with my crew um and also some of my friends and i we did challenges that we recorded like drift challenges drag challenges uh race challenges anything on that game that we did uh some of them i posted on my youtube channel um i am gonna do a huge uh collage uh, from that game which is a bunch of car meets a bunch of uh, drift meets that I'm gonna put into a montage. Uh, there's a bunch of clips that I done recording with the crew and my friends uh, that we've done, and I'm just gonna put in the whole one big video. Um, there's gonna be a bunch of drift on it, drifting on it, a bunch of uh, car meet spots, a bunch of cruising, a bunch of drag, uh, like drag racing on that. And I'm gonna put into one big video, put some music in the background. It's gonna be dope. That I'm still am doing it. Uh, I've been making a few videos here and there with the crew, and I'm just gonna make one big video of it, which is gonna be pretty cool. Hopefully, uh, I'll be looking forward to that. And um, so yeah, stay tuned on my channel for that. And uh, like I said, for the final time, uh, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.